Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's the 25th of July, 2024. Real quick, we're gonna do a video price prediction update in the market for Casper. Going to talk about um, where it's gonna be the next big move for this cryptocurrency. We got a price prediction already on our chart. You guys can see that we aimed to see prices in Casper to go higher. We're not surprised to see the market getting rejected around what, 18 and a half to 19 cents. That has been a big problem for the buyers into the market in Casper. As I zoom out of this price chart, it's been numerous times to where we've seen the market get rejected alongside this sell zone and now it's trying to break back up above it but after we did our video on the 13th of july you guys can see that it hasn't been successful yet so what does it mean real simple there's still sellers there all right it's, it's real simple there's only two opposing teams at any given time in the markets buyers and sellers and it seems to me like the sellers are real strong around 18 and a half cents and 19 cents. Will the buyers ultimately overcome the sellers? That is the question that is yet to be answered. So looking at this on a two day chart for Caspa, you guys can see that we are making lower highs. Again, that stipulates that shows us that the sellers are still in control up here at that particular price. Here it is on the three-day chart. The only negative three-day price bar that I do see is this one, okay? Now we got 13 hours on this uh, current three-day price bar and it's still trying to close higher than the prior three-day bar close, okay? Look at that, on the three-day chart, we got our proprietary software telling us that it's a buy. We already know that. The only thing that we don't know is that the market is getting rejected and will the buyers actually ultimately break that zone to the top. Here it is on the four day chart. Take a look at Casper on the five. Here's Casper on the weekly. Okay, now, pretty good look viewpoint here is that Casper holds that trend line right there. There's nothing for us to worry about. We can safely say price stays above that trend line. The buyers will take out the sellers in this 18 and a half to 19 cent zone they will so that just gives us a cleaner viewpoint a cleaner view as to what needs to happen buyers cannot let price break that trend line right there okay if it does then it's becoming less likely that the buyers will break the sellers and move them out the way at that sell zone Here's Casper on the two weeks, all right? Here it is on the three. The three weekly chart doesn't look good at all. I'm just gonna keep it real. Looking at this on the three weekly chart, these two three weekly price bars is telling me that there's definitely a lot of selling within that zone. So when you see charts like this and you see things opposite of what you want to occur, you got to be a neutral party and say, all right, cool. I need to actually go ahead and maybe take some off the table. If you were to do that right now, we will have 5.29% right now. And that's not a bad, that's not a bad thing to do. Because like I said, if we don't see this market in Casma break that sales on up at the top, at least you got five and a quarter out of this particular play, right? So let me put that back here though, but that's what I'm keeping my eye on though, is determining whether or not these market participants, these buyers will be successful at breaking that sell zone. So I'm not gonna change my price prediction yet. I'm just letting you know, I'm keeping an eye as to whether or not those sellers will ultimately get pushed out the way and letting the sellers, I mean the buyers actually break this market to the upside. All right, so. That is it. Go ahead, give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.